And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved Frozen Factory. Getting there, we're slowly making progress. As you can see in between episodes, I did a little terraforming. Um, there's this huge copper vein that we're, we're actually mining it, but it's right in the way of my sort of grid-like uh, excavation. So you can see I placed chevrons everywhere that I had an excavator. And, uh, well, the veins sort of uh, kind of interrupt that, so they're kind of right in the way. And uh, so I basically just set a wider radius, and it's kind of a squat height, so it doesn't go very high. But you just set and let that run, and it'll just kind of gr grind through it all, uh, mining around all the veins and kind of exposing everything. So that is how I'm kind of getting around the veins here. Uh, you just let it run, and uh, in non-ore mode, non-ore destroying mode, it, it takes about 100 power per second, uh, and we're only feeding it 40. So it's not going full speed, but it, you know it will it will grind through all of that, and it will uh, allow us to then build onto our base. And I want to clear this area back here, especially because this is where our lithium is going to come up. We got that huge lithium vein right under here. And I really want to, to start getting that because I am out of lithium. I have no more lithium coming up, uh, no more lithium being smelted at all. As you can see from the, uh, the area up here, it's extract or smelt lithium. It, it knows that I haven't smelted lithium in a while. And it's saying, hey, you know, you might want to think about doing this. Oh, look, there's a little tin that's kind of appended on there. Oh, wow. For today, I want to... I'm, I'm trying to beeline my way to turbines. And because turbines really open up a lot of uh, expansion opportunities and allow just to build and, and expand the base so much faster than burning coal. Uh, so I am working on the advanced power grid and uh, the developer recently changed uh, the coal burning process um, and so I it's it's burning a lot more coal and these things while they don't take very long 15 seconds uh, these things are 30 seconds so one of these can support only two of the generators and I've got like 16 of them so I have to sort of augment it supplement coal and just add it in there just to keep it going um, otherwise we would run out pretty quickly um, but I need to venture down into uh, very dangerous territory and let's see I want to craft some where are they torches just so I have them around let's do even a hundred and uh, I don't have any blank pings on me I don't think I think I used them all so let's see if I have any materials that I can use to craft this I can make 14 of them that's that's a start I should uh, as you can see I've also got a lot of copper and tin what I basically did is I just parked myself right here and let the game run and I went to bed so the game ran and uh, all the ores that this thing was smelting were were uh, dumping into me uh, the whole time so that that heist is perfect for some AFK resource gathering so as soon as I have all my resources sort of in a in a good place i would be able to just sort of park myself and go AFK for a while and just gather up a lot of ores while I'm running errands or grocery shopping or doing whatever so that is that is great that heist is great for that so I've got plenty of tin lots of copper and don't really have to worry about that for some time and we are gonna go down here. I want to kind of grab the crystal that's up here while I'm in the while I'm in the neighborhood, and uh, 
just to restock. Make sure I got it all. And there we go. A couple hundred, a few hundred at least. down and this way I can uh, go down from here and now now that I'm down here uh, I need to go even further so let's pick out this little area here for our next great adventure here uh, that we need to hit the toxic caverns and uh, locate some material that's down here and hopefully, hopefully, get lucky with where the biomass is because sometimes you don't get lucky. So there's no air at least 64 blocks below me. So let's go down to about minus 400 and do another ping. Okay, there's a little bit of air there. I want to be very, very careful. Uh, let's go down a couple more. You can see we're still gathering deep stone. So it's even though it's green tinted, it's still considered deep stone. So it's not, it's not uh, the toxic stone yet. But I kind of want to go out here and see if this is a cave that we need to worry about no okay and let's see wait well, there's some uh, sapphires around we need to ping air again again there's no air below us so let's unknown block so we we've now we've now re we've now come across toxic Toxic stone, and we gotta be careful. Gotta watch our toxic meter because if the air becomes toxic, uh, we it could be bad, bad sign for us. We could die pretty quickly, actually. Oh, you can see it's starting. I'm starting to be damaged, so I gotta get out of there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, Oh, <sighs> darn. Okay, let's see if we can uh, scan this. That'll drain a whole lot of power. Uh, can we unlock the toxic filter right away? We can. It's only 25 power, so let's see if we can craft it. That is the important thing. Toxic particle filter, we can. I'm glad we have the resources to do that. So now we have a toxic filter. Uh, we can venture into that area without immediately dying uh, a slow and horrible death. Uh, and the excavator is doing a pretty good job. It's still chugging along. You can actually walk under here now. We got lots of slimes. I'd love to get another pristine gland. And I really do need to build the slime trap. I just got to figure out where I want to build it. Uh, it's got to be a good spot and allow lots of slimes from because they pull in from a long ways away. So let's let's see. How's my power doing? Arthur is not doing so good. Do I have his charging station? I do have one of his charging stations. Do you see that? Well, it did not take long for these batteries to empty out. And I got 20 of those basics left. Does that open up? Okay, so it didn't open up. I have to scan biomass in order to open up the research that I'm going to need for that. And I'm not sure how many resources I'm going to need for the research. So there's the toxic cavern stone that I was talking about. Uh, let's see, did I actually put in copper in here? I don't think I did. I thought I was going to. And let's uh, add some tin to the plating machine. I should have just 
put a hundred of them in there. Okay. Yeah, this thing is going to be out of power for a while just because uh, I did that research and that drained all the power that it had stored up. So it's going to be a while before that is ready to go. Uh, nickel right now is my biggest my biggest burden and as you can see I've actually got uh, some low-grade steel bars made which is awesome all this thing is being powered with right now is a solar panel and you know it so it only operates during the day but it you know spits out slow and steady as long as I feed it with nickel and it's a manual process now but it will be automated as soon as we're able to gather all of this stuff we got to wait for the lifts to come back but now that I have the toxic particle filter I'll be able to survive uh, in that area without uh, too many problems Whee. Eventually, I'll have one lift going all the way from cold up to the surface. But for now, we are just going to just use the little bitty, little bits and pieces that we can. And while I'm here, because we're so low on nickel, I'm going to grab the nickel that we have already mined. It should be 336 if my... There it is. So we'll let that run. I so want to automate that, but for now we gotta we gotta deal with we gotta deal with it. Okay, so this I'm gonna send a glow stick or two down because as soon as we hit the toxic. We can't uh, do another one, so we got to be very careful. Okay, so ping air. Looks like there is air right below us. Now remember, the change of the grapple will get like one good grapple if we start falling. So we got to be very, very, very careful. Uh, one way that you can, you know, increase your survivability is give yourself a little bit of space to work with. And don't just dig down in one hole because you have very little chance of, uh, you know, finding out that you're going to drop beforehand. So if you dig yourself out like this uh, and give yourself some light, and let's color that light. So now I'll see when it opens up below me. And I could even come down here and just super dig all the way down and see kind of where we drop off. You can see it drops off right there. So I can relatively safe come down here. You just got to be very, very cautious. I should have brought a lift with me. That was a huge, huge mistake, not bringing a lift. Uh, I didn't even think about it. I'm so used to grappling all the time that, let's see, so that opens that up. It looks like there's some topaz right away, which are interesting. So here is the last block before we fall and it's quite the fall it's more than 64 blocks because otherwise you'd be able to uh, hit it with your gun so let's see what's around us here okay we got a little little land bridge over here that we might be able to attach to Um, that looks like the only, yeah, that's just empty space. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there's some biomass right there. Awesome. I like having it close. So let's build out. Build out there. Uh, build up. So now we've got something that we can attach to, but it's not centered on us. I want it to be centered right here. Um, but we kind of have to take what we can get. Uh, let's see. Right on the side. Okay, so now we can jump down, and one grapple is all you get. And now, now that we're this far down, I can bring my main down, light it up so we know where we're going. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it out of here in one in one grapple. There's no way I'm going to be able to make it out of here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is add a little something for me to land on if I get up there. And then I have to re kind of take a breath and let my grapple reset. So now we can actually make it all the way down. But I don't know exactly where where this line is. Okay, let's back it up a little and just pick a spot and bring it up. So that's obviously not where we want to go. So let's just use the pillar to our advantage here and dig ourselves down because that is a long way up oh I did it again didn't I I did that once before always a blast I want this one and then I want the lights it's a long ways down here. So I'll gather up all the drops. And let's see, let's uh, just take it all the way. Give ourselves a nice little landing spot. There we go. That is a long, long ways up there. It's a long way to grapple in one go. Okay. Light this side of it since the lights kind of don't bend around because there was some biomass right around here. There it is. Okay, now some of the plants. Some more biomass there. Good. I just hope they're big veins. Ooh, and there's some more. Ooh, this looks like a good size one here. Oh yeah, definitely. Keep it close. Oh, this might actually be, it's might, oh, this looks like a nice huge vein. That's so awesome. Okay, I want to scan. I know it's topaz, but I like to scan it anyway. Lots of RP. Looks like there's a sugar light right down there. Oh, we got so lucky. 
take this one. I'll take this one over here. Okay. Let's, uh, should we venture down there and grab it? That's a long ways down. But I think it's worth it. We're gonna torch that up. Might be able to make it down there. And let's see. Just gonna keep kind of tentatively falling here. That's so awesome that we got a sugar light. Look at that. The very bottom, the very bottom of the cold or the toxic caverns. Okay, let's uh, kind of grapple our way up here. And there's our light at the end of the tunnel there. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. We can do a ping unknown. And uh, yeah, it'll highlight that, but it'll also highlight anything else. That's a good sized vein there. Is that an unknown? It says it's unknown plant, but it's already known. Same, the same kind that's in the cold caverns. Rescan. Scanning unknown block. Just try to scan as much as you can. That way everything is scanned. It's weird that there's no other biomass even around here. Unknown ore. So there is some more over here. It's kind of way away over here though. Telling me I'm going away from the gym. So is this a good size? This looks like a phenomenal vein. Look at that. So it is a little bit of a distance away, but uh, it looks like there's a good amount right here. There's some there and there's some over there. So we got, oh, this is so awesome. We've got the We've got the biomass located. And it looks like there's another topaz around here somewhere. Must be under us. Because now it's going down. Let's see if we can find it. I never have any luck, so that's going way away from it. This is going towards it, so yeah, there it is. Okay, um, yeah, see, we can't, we have to wait. It's always, always causes problems. Okay, so now we need to figure out how we're going to get the heck back. I mean, I could do the cheap route and just die down here, but I kind of want to see if we can get back where we are okay I'm out of toxic stone so let's build that up a little bit I want to build this out a little bit Oh, that's a little, that's a little much, but oh well. Just to have myself a, a little platform. Oh. There we go, now we've got a platform. Let's look at, we have to attack it from this side. And let's see if 
we can make it all the way up there. Come back to land on my platform. And now the tricky part, because to we got to kind of thread the needle here. And this episode is getting really long, so I apologize for that. Excellent, we made it out. By the skin of our teeth, I think. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.